There's our Krampus, okay. That's weird, dude. Dude, that's just weird. Maybe, maybe a cat jumped on your face and clawed out your eyes. Or you poured soup on yourself and it was hot. Maybe your parents came in the room and said, Oh my god, Jimmy, it's homework time. Hello, it is Al, the angry llama, ready to review your Overwatch trash can play. Okay, it is Al, and I got a juicy one for today. I am 841 SR DPS, main, stuck in bronze. Ooh, juicy. Hey all, I recently got back into Overwatch with some friends. That's a good time. I've done this as well recently. When we started playing comp, I got ranked a lot lower than them. We have a friend like this as well. We call him AW, ankle weight. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, I can't queue with them and I can't seem to bring my SR up, but I feel like I belong in silver or gold at least. I am not too sure what's going wrong, so I'd really appreciate if someone could tell me what I'm doing wrong or if my teams are just holding me from back from climbing. I mean, uh, listen, w there is certainly stuff you're doing wrong, and we will identify some of it. What you got to do is isolate a few lessons and learn them each week, and you will climb. But let's get right into it with the worst name I've ever seen, Squeagle. Squeagle? Squeagle42. Okay, Squeagle. Let's see what you okay. got. Okay. We are on board with Squeagle the Junkrat. What I like most about this is that uh, we can help him play with his friends if he learns a couple things. Okay, all right, no, 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 okay. You've already messed up. Do you know where you messed up? I'm gonna give everybody here a quiz. Okay, where did he mess up? And if you said when he jumped off of high ground, you were so right. Let's see what your team is doing because your team is probably not paying like a bronze rock star. And do look at your team, dude. Uh, Bean is... I don't know what Bean is doing. But you right now are the only one throwing. So, uh, not great. Let's see what you do. Alright, you're set. Yes, you've jumped back up. Good for you. You're spamming, you're spamming, you're spamming. You're spamming. You should be pillar humping. Why are you in the front? Listen. Why are you in the front? Just, you need to back, and I'll do this very quickly, but uh, why aren't you right here? Why aren't you right here? And then you just peek, bump, 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 and guess what? I'm going to give you a general rule right now, Krampus, the German Santa Claus. I'm going to tell you this. If you don't have tanks in front of you, you're in the wrong place, and you're going to stay in bronze, silver, gold, that kind of stuff. You need to have tanks in front of you. That is rule one for DPS. Put the post-it note on your monitor that says, are tanks in front of me? Especially on Junkrat. Your job is to be in the back being very annoying spamming, okay? Let's see how you do. This is usually very good for Junkrat. Why are you up front again? We don't know. But now you have left. You have decided, I'm out of here. And you're not even... I don't get it, man. This Genji should be dead. Do you have a... Pr okay, you're not... Are you going to get up there? You're going to wait for Genji to... You're ignoring the Genji. Because you're kind of a nice Genji counter. And you're just ignoring it. Why haven't you put your trap down once? Not once have you used... You finally put it down. But one of the big pieces of your kit is to protect against flankers. I want to see your trap not used in main chokes, but for flanks, especially this Genji. Put it at your healer's feet. Hell, put it at your feet. Put it on the side where you think he's going to come from. But what you can't do is just willy-nilly keep it in your pocket the whole match. Yeah. Now, why wouldn't you turn around and throw the mine at him instead of trying to jump away? That's a weird decision, but uh, that will take time. You'll, you'll need to get better. All right, so you've lost point A. Let's see how much... It's not whether you're going to do some bronze shit at this next choke. It's how much bronze shit are you going to do and how angry will I get. Right now, I hate you so much. You thought... In no world is that a good idea. Guys, this is just like the military. It's uh, Well, you know, that is an insane statement. There are things about this that you can take military ideas from and apply. 
So, let's talk about NES hockey. You need the tanks in front, so let's see where your tanks are. Ah, they're back here. Is this the front? Maybe it is. Do you know where the front is? I, I can tell you. It changes every time. But do you know where the front is? The front is the exact place where your two tanks are. That's the front. You can't be in front of the front. You should be back here. Just loving life. Just punk, 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 punk. Just loving life. Just spamming damage. And you should have maybe a junk rat trap around here somewhere so you don't get flanked. But instead, you are bronzing your ass up here asking me if it's the team holding you back. Dude, you are holding back your team. Right now, I am mad at the Krampus. But let's see how you continue to suck. And begin. Do you even have tire yet? The rest of your team's not very high either. Look at uh, Pog. Did he start out as a McCree? Because he only has 29%. That's pretty bad. What do you... So, a guy with a lightning cannon standing in a bubble of his own creation will not leave bubble because he doesn't want to get hurt, right? So what do you do? Instead of using your bomb to back up and get free health, you stand here like you're actually uh, stuck in your own trap. It was weird. Let's watch it one more time. There's our Krampus. Okay. That's weird, dude. Dude, that's just weird. Maybe maybe a cat jumped on your face and clawed out your eyes. Or you poured soup on yourself and it was hot. Maybe your parents came in the room and said, Oh my god, Jimmy, it's homework time. What? You have a tire. You need to save the point. What about running that tire there, fella? From the safety of, I don't know, say, near Spanish? That was such a weird choice, dude. You have a, uh, you have point-winning ultimate that you decided not to use. Are you gonna use it now, dude? Dude, just send the tire, send the tire, send the tire, cha cha cha, send the tire, send the tire, send the tire, cha cha cha. Yeah, you're killing me, man. No, it's not your team holding you back. It's a shitty gameplay. I don't even know if your aim's any good, cause I don't think you've aimed at anything yet. Not anything in particular. You're not the bronze. I don't even care about your aiming. It doesn't matter. You're positioning so bad and you're dying so much and feeding every fight that your aim has nothing to do with it, sugar snaps. You just need to uh, stop sucking. I hate this so much. Yeah, dude. Like, no shit. Either get through the choke... Or don't be in the choke. Never, ever, 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 ever do this. This is stupid. Move fast. Use that shield to get cover. You hear the sonic arrow. You hear the Hanzo. They have nothing to do but spam these two doorways. And where do you stand? In bronze? In the doorways where people who can't aim are spamming. Get through the doorways, man. Come on. This isn't rocket science, people. What are you... You know this is a team game, right? I don't think you've been with your team once. Now you're in front again with no health. Don't walk in front of that shield, I swear to God. Why? Why? Why are you there? Why are you Why? Why couldn't you just do... Dude, you're going to climb. Like, if you can really take any of this to heart, you'll climb so fast. Why would you walk in here and fight this fight instead of just being here and playing Geometry Wars? Your character bounces nades off things, dude. Just shoot it up here. It will go pink, plonk, while avoiding their shields and causing you no damage. It's amazing, but you have not figured that out yet, maybe? But I'm telling you now, so the Lama told you, so you can absolutely climb and play with your friends. Just, um, you know, suck less? Let's uh, see how it goes. Some more Krampus who's dead again. Squee gal. 
You want to play with your bros and hoes again? You're gonna need to uh, up it a bit, Squigal. All right, a man with a sock is taking you guys down hard. I don't think now's the time to go in, to be honest. I think now is the time to extricate yourself from the situation. You see all those red people? Those are people that are on the enemy team. They, um, they in fact, are trying to kill you, and you're the only thing they can... This is just so stupid. You have no health, and you're just standing there. It's fascinating to me. My friend is hard stuck in bronze, and I believe, Squigel, you might be the problem. Because I watched his gameplay, and he was not horrible like this. Get out of the choke! 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 There is a new song we're going to sing. Are you ready? The llama is going to start it. And a one, and a two, and a three, three, four. Okay, we're going to say, get out of the choke, or the llama will kill you by choking you. Get out of the choke, or the llama will kill you by, wait for it, wait for it, choking you. It's so you can remember... This deadly threat that you get your butt out of the choke. This is so stupid and it happens at so many levels. Oh my god, get out of the choke, you morons. I hope you do your tire right there, right in front of him, just like a maniac. What are you doing now? Do you want to handle that turret or what? No? No, he's done with the... He wants that turret to shoot his tire. Yeah, you're lucky, dude. Like, if anybody else breathed on it with that turret, you don't want to fire a tire with the turret up, man. Oh, you really can't aim either. That's a bit of a problem. But with Junkrat, it's not that, that bad. What? Honestly, if we're going to talk about your aim, the only thing I want you to do is use concussion mines more to kill squishies. You li can literally concussion. I hate it as a flanking DPS. The concussion mine and just a poop poop. I mean, they're dead. So uh, more traps down, more concussion mine combos. Don't you do it, Squigal. Of course you're going to do it. Why, why wouldn't you come take some damage, some free damage, and not wait for your tanks? Yes, yes, get in the choke. All by yourself. Oh, hey, look, you have tanks in front of you. But doesn't that impair your viewing? Let's get in front of those shields. Wow, I'm a little proud right now. That's going to suck. Uh, I like that you tried to get out of there. No, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Now time to leave, now time to leave. Abandon ship. I don't know, but are you looking at the kill feed? I remember when I started the watch. It was really hard to uh, keep track of the kill feed, okay? But this is what I did. I put the post-it note on my monitor that said, Who is dead? And if I couldn't answer that question at any given moment, then I wasn't paying attention enough to the whole game. That is why I can quickly understand what is going on, left, right, center, and it's the same as these other people who do coaching. They're taking in all of the data and tracking it. We need you to step it up a bit and take in some data. When you see your team, maybe a main healer or a main tank, and you really want to climb, you say on comms, hey guys, we lost main tank. Maybe we back up. Let's, let's soft reset. That means back up a little bit. Just try not to be aggressive. You can still build your ultimates. Or full reset, guys. We lost healer main tank. And you, you're going to win more games. Just speak up a bit. Uh, know what you're talking about, of course. Don't uh, yell crazy stuff. But uh, speak up and say, hey, how about we back up and regroup? Just saying that once or twice without any sort of animosity can sometimes win a match. I personally can't do it because I say things like, hey, hey, guys, if you weren't such idiots or assholes, maybe we'd back up. And then they call me toxic and now I got to make videos instead of yelling at my teammates. What the hell? Oh, yeah, you think I'm watching seven more minutes of this? I'm going to give you one more push not to suck. And then you're out of here for another month. I want you to resubmit the video using the advice I gave you. That means tanks in front. Using your cooldowns a little bit better. And getting squishies with your um, concussion mind combos. Uh, not a bad push. I like this. This is good. You're keeping good distance from the molten load. This is good. You have two concussion mines, and you have them for a long time. Do you see this? I don't think you know to use them for damage. I really don't. They are so powerful. You've had this cooldown the entire time. Finally used one. And why not put your trap down for when someone dives you? Why not? 
Now it's time to leave, actually, but... Um, yeah, you don't know how... You're using half your kit, wondering why you have half the SR you're supposed to. Well, you're not in the right position, and you use half your kit. You're welcome. Llama out. See you in a month. What now, hay-eating biped? So, that's it. I am doing 90 videos in 90 days. Think about supporting your favorite livestock by sharing this video on your social medias. Consider subscribing and liking this video. And are you interested in submitting your gameplay or have a video you feel the llama must see? There are a number of ways to get the llama's attention. One, you can make a post over at my favorite learning community, r slash Overwatch University. Put something about the llama in the title and I will review your trash can gameplay. Two, you can put it in a comment below on this video. Remember to tell me your current SR, your story, your hero, and your replay code. And lastly, for all of you boomers, I also have the email. You can email me at angrylamareviews at gmail.com. Thank you for watching the video and for supporting the channel. Lama out.